Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone, so today we will review the trade of last week, the week of the 28th October 2019. So let me unzip the profile and let's go. Okay, so let's start with odd USD. At the beginning of the week, the price nearly touched the level but didn't. And after we have an opportunity right here. And this is a breakout trade with 17. 17 and it made 1.5 so this is a winning trade when we take a breakout we take 1.5 to maximum reward that's the only trade of the week let's look at odd cad nothing odd chf nothing odd new zealand odd new zealand uh, we have at the beginning of the week this specific trade with a pin bar I advise a retracement entry when you have a pin bar like that, which would make it, which didn't happen. And if you take a breakout right here, you take 1.5 reward, and this is a winning trade also. What you can do also is place 1% at the retracement entry and 1% at the breakout. So in this way, you are sure that you will not miss the trade. Or what you can do also is place two percent on each and the first that triggers you just cancel the other trade so you just put at least two percent whether it's a breakout trade or whether it's a retracement trade after at the end of the week on friday you have a retest of this specific level and this trade the breakout didn't trigger but the middle triggered and it's a losing trade and after you have a big news for nfp and after NFP you have a pin bar and pin bar breakout is coming up. So I count one loss. Then odd GPY. Odd GPY we have a breakout trade right here. Stop loss right here and this one take 1.5 reward breakout but since the doji is little you could have taken more reward on this one. 22 and it made 70 made 3 reward. I count 1.5 only because it's a breakout trade but you know you could have taken more than that. Odd Singapore. Odd Singapore. So you have a railroad track and the middle of this candle is the end exactly of this one right here. So you have like 14 and this one since it's a retracement entry at the end of the railroad track with spikes uh, you can take 3 rewards and it made 3 rewards actually yeah 15 like 17 stop loss and it made 55 so it's a good winning trade with 3 reward that's it for this one let's look at euro odd nothing touch gbp odd nothing touch cat pair now so silver nothing usd silver nothing gold nothing we have uh, Singapore JPY at the beginning of the week so what do you have? a doji right here then a pin bar and this pin bar at the retracement entry right here stop loss is right here made 3 reward obviously on this one CHF Singapore so this one nearly touched the level but it didn't make really a, a real pattern here and it's sad because we missed a beautiful trade so there is no trade here CHF GPY so didn't touch the level but there was a 800 EMA just before so that's where the price reversed and after what do you have is a doji right here broken down stop loss right here stop loss uh, breakout entry so it's a 1.5 reward and it's a winning trade so far we have six reward profits and one risk loss now let's look at CAD GPY so cat GPY, beginning of the week, we can have one loss with this doji broken down and broken up right here. So I count one loss. This one made a pin bar right here. 
and it didn't get get up it just went down it was a rejection of the strong level right here and so we have one loss and after what do we have we have this white line right here and we have this pin bar right here maybe so we need to take two pips outside of the spike yeah so this one is taken out and after what do we have is this bearish pin bar still doesn't exceed this specific 200 EMA on the 4 hour chart and after the price go up so this trade is running is running and uh, the entry would have been at the end of this pin bar and the stop loss would have been like uh, 12 pips and it made 38 so this one is a winning trade going up following the, the trend and it made 3 reward on this one and I count one loss and we're good so on this chart you have one loss right here one loss right here and one winning with three reward right here with this bearish pin bar let's look at CAD CHF CAD CHF beginning of the week we have a very nice uh, it can be a dodgy but for me it's a pin bar because the pin is more than 50% of the total length of the body of the candlestick so this one is a pin bar you can have the entry at the breakout and it take 1.5 and it came back to the retracement entry right here that made 3 reward. So I count this one, uh, I count 1.5 reward but you could have made 3 reward quite easily on this one. That's it, let's look at Euro pairs. Mm, Eurosec, nothing touch. Eurozar. This one was a beautiful trade. <clears throat> so what do we have? We have this specific one making an inverted hammer but didn't break out up. So there is no confirmation of this specific trade. But after that you have a bullish pin bar right here. And your stop loss would have been below this around here. And it should not have triggered. And this one you can have taken a breakout entry or the retracement entry and it made obviously like maybe 10 rewards so it's a very beautiful trade I count 1.5 reward once again but as you can see on the chart you could have taken way way more than that only with this big candle it made 3 reward already so Euro knock nothing touch Euro Hong Kong Euro Hong Kong we can count one loss right here with this dodgy broken down and that's the only trade of the week Euro Singapore, nothing. Euro JPY, uh, no trade. This was from last week actually. Euro New Zealand, nothing. Euro CHF, nothing. Euro CAD, so Euro CAD, a very strong power going up and it breaks the level. We have an angle thing, but there is no level except this Fibonacci. So I don't take it. And uh, that's it actually. Yep. Euro USD, no trade. Let's look at GBP. GBP knock. Didn't touch GBP sec. Same. Same. Euro GBP, no trade. GBP Singapore. Uh, power going down and up. And this trend line has been touched a lot of time, so we we'll not really have taken it. But for the sake of this specific one, we can count one loss. So as you can see on my video, it's always worst case scenario. GBP New Zealand taking all the level. No really trade here. But the uh, trend was up and we have a bullish candle right here, but it's a doji. And it's very, very big body, so I would not have entered this trade. Actually, it's an interesting case. We can look at it deep in, deep in depth. So you have railroad track right here. And this is also a doji. The doji, the price break up and close up. But since it's too big candlestick, I would take a uh, retracement entry only. And it came to the retracement entry the next candle. And after that, it made two reward. But since it's a big candle, you take 1.5. So I don't count it, but you could have taken 1.5 reward on this specific one. GBP CAD. GBP CAD. You have. Uh, eventually a breakout entry and uh, a retracement entry also possible on this one 
the redress and entry made three rewards and the other one made one reward so far so nothing to count yet but this one is a winning trade GBCHF nothing, GBPUSD nothing now let's look at New Zealand NOC GPY nothing, New Zealand GPY nothing, New Zealand CHF no this one New Zealand CAD we have very nice pin bar, you could have been in a trade right now taking 1.5 reward on this specific trade but it's not closed yet so I don't count it and NZD USD NZD USD no trade let's look at USD charts so USD chart uh, USD MXN we have a very beautiful trade right here this level I let it apparent and at the beginning of the week what do you have is a pin bar right here so you could have entered the breakout of this pin bar 1.5 reward obviously made it so it's a winning trade 1.5 reward then USD HUF trade from last week winning trade but didn't uh, made a pattern oh actually we have a we have a trade right here it's a breakup trade 61 and 69 so it's a losing trade so one losing trade on USD HUF but it's a dotted line so usually dotted line we take them when they are broken in the other direction then USD Xetch break the level this week and we'll continue to fall down with this engulfing candle right here so no trade no trade this one USD Polonia so we have this very nice uh, pin bar 72 and it made 100 so this one is uh, we can count it as a losing trade sec gpy and i think um, usd czar usd czar doji broken down a few pips and it's very large candlestick so i don't like this kind of candlestick i search a retracement entry and if you take a retracement entry you will have 73 and you made already around two reward and it will continue to fall down for a bit and at the beginning of the week we have um, uh, this specific nice pin bar right here and retracement entry triggered before the exit the, uh, the breakout entry and this one is a winning trade so we have three reward one two three reward on this one and one running with around two reward right now now USD Singapore this is Singapore didn't made during this week a pattern or actually it made a pin bar in the other direction which confirms it uh, you know price is broken right here and then price made this huge pin bar and you can enter only when you have a big candle like that at a retracement 50% stop loss right here and since it's a big pin bar maybe two reward maximum but it made three easily so we can count it as a real winning trade but a sell trade a USD CHF um, no real pattern except this one but it's a very big candlestick so dangerous USD GPY touch the level on Friday or Thursday Thursday actually so what do we have we have this first pin bar right here Retracement entry, it's a losing trade for a very little pips. And after you have this railroad track, retracement entry, and this railroad track, stop loss would have been around 9 to 10 pips, and it made uh, 30 pips, so it's a winning trade. Yeah, it made 33 pips actually, so it's a, it's a good winning trade. So 1, 2, 3 reward, and we have 1 losing trade. For this USD JPY now USD CAD USD CAD what do we have so we have one of rise sorry one of rise 
so power is down on my analysis and we have this nice bearish pin bar right here and breakout down 1.5 reward didn't uh, reach yet but didn't trigger the stop stop loss anyway so we're still in a trade with little reward on this one and that's it for the swing trades so for the swing trades we have 28.5 reward and we have uh, 6 9 risk loss so we have 19.5 reward times 2 it makes 39% profit for this specific strategy for the week worst case scenario as you see we could have taken much much more profit than that now let's look at the pending order strategy this one was at the level at the envelope we can eventually take it and uh, so the level right here the stop loss would have been 12 pips it made 10 and it made uh, 32 so now the stop is break even we made two reward nearly three and price continue worst case scenario we finish break even on this trail now usdchf nothing touch usd singapore outside the envelope we don't have anything usd sar we have a trade outside the envelope right here so let's look at it this touch right here on our chart stop loss would have been 57 54 as you can see right here plus 2 to 3 pips so 57 it made 53 maximum and it made 100 158 so nearly 3 reward I will count it because it looks very good it will touch on Monday and it's um, it's a very good trade so we have one winning three reward so far another one running with two reward sec gpy nothing touch usd polonia didn't touch very far from the envelope nothing this one same usdxh nothing at the envelope but there is no level right here nothing usd mexican uh, tac tac nothing now let's look at new zealand new zealand no trade new zealand uh, this one i don't think it touch few pips this would have been a very nice pending order trades with 18 stop loss and uh, 54 profit it made 51 already so nearly a winning trade for this one outside the envelope perfect perfect one but didn't touch the level so i don't count it new zealand chf nothing and new zealand uh, gpy nothing and knock gpy nothing either gbp it was the week of all sense day and there was nfp so it was quite calm last week actually gpusd nothing cad uh, let me check gbp cad add the envelope let me zoom in a bit yeah this one could have been taken or a bit above and it made so far like 73 stop loss is 50 it made one reward so i don't count it anyway GBP JPY no trade, GBP New Zealand no trade, GBP Singapore no trade, Euro GBP no trade, GBP try no trade, same, this one touched last week, it was a very beautiful one, but not this week, GBP knock, outside the envelope but didn't reach my level, so no trade, now let's look at Euro, it was a very slow weekend for trading, Euro USD, no trade outside the envelope. Eurocad went outside the envelope but didn't touch any level, so no trade. And there was a big news CAD when it happened, so obviously when there is a big news you don't take, you take way outside the envelope. So Euro CHF, nothing. This one, nothing. Euro GPY, no. Euro Singapore, nothing. Euro Hong Kong, nothing. Euro Knock, 
Euronoc, I didn't mark this level, but this should have been a trade actually, with this round number right here, and it, this made awesome profit. I don't count it, but you know, it was way outside the envelope, a very nice round number. There is no previous history at this level, that's why I didn't place a level, but it was a very nice opportunity there. Eurozar, Eurozar, no level outside the envelope. Eurosec, same. Now let's look at CAD. CAD, CHF, Singapore, and gold. So CAD, CHF. We had a trade right here, uh, and uh, we didn't pursue it because it was on Friday and NFP, and we took one reward on me. Uh, I advise on the Telegram channel to take one reward, so I count one reward right here. CAD GPY, uh, same, outside the envelope, this one, 16, so 15 ADR plus 2 pips which make in 17, so it makes 18, so this one is a losing trade, but I think my stop loss was a bit larger, but anyway, it's a losing trade, I count it as a loss. CHF, GPY, no trade, CHF Singapore didn't touch the level, but it was a very nice trade for the week. I was a bit... Uh, I entered, I think, but just before the level, so it didn't touch. So the pending doesn't work. Singapore GPY. No trades. Gold. Gold, silver, no trade. Now let's look at Australian dollar. GBP odd, no trade. Uh, Euro odd, no trade. Odd Singapore. Odd Singapore, there is a trade. Stop loss would have been 17 pips. It made 11 pips against it and 17, which make it 51, and it's a winning trade. I am the one hour chart right here. Touch this white line. So we have one winning trade right here. Uh, odd JPY, it wasn't outside the envelope, so I didn't take this level. Odd New Zealand. Now, odd the CHF, nothing, odd CAD, didn't reach the level, and odd USD, so we have just outside the envelope, I took this trade, it touched the trend line on the 4 hour chart, and on daily too, so this one, uh, 13, 15 pip stop loss and 45, uh, it made 42, and I I took out, but it is a for now. It's not break even. It's still running with one reward, and it made nearly three reward. I don't count it. That was the only Australian dollar trade of the week. So for the pending order, you have seven reward profit and one risk loss, which make it six reward times two, which make it twelve percent profit for the pending order. So the total of the week is forty fifty one percent profit using both strategy and all the level. I wish you a nice weekend, see you next week, bye! This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alert and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.